So hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me on the beautiful banks of the River Dee and we're going to be fishing the stick float for silvers. So the area we are visiting today is the beautiful Bangor on Dee. You can see the iconic bridge behind me and we are in the shadow of the church and as you can see the river looks in fine fettle. So the River Dee is a river that I did fish a lot when I began to learn stick float fishing. If any of you guys followed the blog, in the blog spot days in 2010 to about 2015, the River Dee was actually the river that we spent most of the time on. Winter time you would normally find me further downstream around Farndon, but this time of year in autumn we always come up to the banks of Bangor on Dee. It is an area that is seasonal, so you never really know if the days are going to be about or not. You just have to hope that you've got your timing right and there's one or two fish about. One thing that you can always guarantee with the River Dee is the scenery and the lovely surroundings. As you've seen at the start of the video, you know, there's a lovely town, a little shop where you go to get your day ticket and you're a stone's throw away from the river. What we'll do now is we'll take a look at the swim, the bait and how we're going to approach it. So that is the iconic church behind on Bangor on Dee. And if we turn around, you can see this is the peg we're going to be fishing today one or two salmon anglers or trout fishermen had one or two fish in the pool below so there's definitely one or two fish about and i think you can see just enough room down there to get two bank sticks in and the keep net as you can see here it's a beautiful place to wet a line nice dark water steady pace the hope is mr dace but you never really know sometimes the trouble about grayling, trout, and I'll be very surprised today if we don't see Mr. Salmon jump out the river. I'm joined today, as always, by my uncle, who's in the swim further up, and Gaddy, who's got his own YouTube channel that I'll put a link down below in, and Mitzi, a lovely little dog, who's coming on more and more adventures with us now. So yeah, there's a few of us on the bank. Hopefully, we can get a few bites and a few fish on the bank. So the setup that I'm using today is my 17 foot Preston rod. I've teamed that up with a Corbin switch reel and on there I've got five pound Dave Howell line. I've got that down to one of the brand new Corbin floats in 0.8 gram and that's down to a two pound one ounce hook link and a size 18 hook. So standing room only today, I had to build a bit of a barricade to keep me bait weighted in place, but it is nice and sturdy. Looking at the side tray, we've got about two, two and a half pints of Hinder's Hemp. And round about two, two pints, two and a half pints of White Maggot. So we've got plenty of bait, nice simple side tray, and obviously the basics that you need. So when we started the vlog, I did say I was using a 0 0.6 gram float, but plumbing the swim up, you can see there is a fair bit of depth. You're looking about 10 foot. So, because I'm down on the peg, I'm going to start off on the 0 0.6 gram, and then if we need to move up, we'll move up. But yeah, wasn't expecting it to be that deep. Looking at the swim, I'm going to be feeding maggots round about here, and on this swim here, you've got the flotsam coming down, just gives the game away. So, I'm literally just going to be going rod tip, because it's 10 foot deep, literally there, and I'm just going to trot down. It's obviously going to shallow up the further we go down because it goes down to rapid so it's got to shallow up at some point it's just a case of how far down the swim it shallows up so yeah let's make a start and see if we can get a bite with it being a deep swim it is going to be one of them where you're going to have to feed one bait or the other heavy because obviously the maggots are going to draw the fish up and the hemp's going to draw them down but it's the first fish of the day and Great news that it's a dace. I say to regulars who follow the channel, where there's one dace, there's normally more. So that's a nice little start to the session. That on the first trot. There we go. That's another dace. A nice little start to the session. That you know to get bites so quickly bodes well. So this is where this 17 foot rod really does come in useful. You can see there, we're literally not far off rod tip. It just gives you so much control just to edge that 
float through and obviously if we want to go further across the river later on it's going to help us do that as well but when you're in swims 10 12 foot it's an excellent seal to have So it's always good to see the dace about you know it lets you know that there's one or two about and they haven't migrated completely away from the area and hopefully where they're small there is bigger so we're getting lots of knocks on the flow all the way down and obviously in winter when it's colder it's easier to keep them fish on the bottom so i am feeding a lot more hemp than i am maggot which hopefully will keep the fish down there and also keep them in them lower layers where I can target them. It's a slightly better one. It's been a lovely start to the session. The first, a slightly better one, in absolutely mint condition. And that is a bit more of what we come for. A lovely little days. And although we've just come out of a heat wave, the signs of autumn creeping in are all there now. It's getting dark around about nine o'clock at night, half past eight. The elderberries are on the trees and even behind us, the blackberries are out as well. So then the subtle signs of change are all around. So hopefully the hemp is gonna keep the fish there where they want them and in them lower layers and hopefully might attract some more than quality fish because uh, hemp is a bait that does seem to attract those better quality fish that might be about you can see there's definitely one or two about and this type of fishing is all about feeding and you know getting a gut feeling for the swim and my feeling at the moment is they are coming to that hemp Like I've said before on the channel, hemp, for me, is a bait that is me saying to the fish, that's where I want to catch her. In an ideal world, just that little bit down the swim. Let's see, definitely one or two fish about. Not the biggest fish in the world, but, you know, in these surroundings, it's all about just getting bites. It's all about just keeping that line of bait going in and just trying to keep the bites coming I'm just getting steady bites now and just right where we've been feeding that hemp there so yeah feeding the hemp has definitely kept the fish where we wanted them today and it does have the feeling that you never know what could be about you know mr. chub could just be lurking down there you never know So I thought with that sun coming up, it might just kill the sport a bit. Now it has slowed down slightly, but just starting to get one or two fish. And you can see there the margins are absolutely alive with fry. The river is most definitely in good health. So into the afternoon now. And still getting bites and it has shocked me because I thought when that sun come on the water and the clarity of the water I thought a pike might have turned up but no it's been getting steady bites throughout the day and having a good time on the bank looking upstream to my uncle and Gary 
they've all been catching. And amongst those smaller days, occasionally you do get that slightly better one. On that 17 foot rod with its light tip, they do pull back a little bit. But yeah, glistening in the sun and happy Danny. So earlier on I said I wonder whether Mr Chubb's about. I did imagine he'd be a bit bigger, but in a day full of days, you definitely know when you connect with a trublet. They just pull back that little bit more, don't they? And yeah, there's got to be mum and dad about somewhere, but you can see he's been in the swim for a while. And the magic of rivers for me, catching dace all day, then you catch a trublet and a roach. And it's that unknown that keeps driving me back. Sometimes, you know, you go lakes and you kind of know what you're going to catch. But on a river, it's whatever's there on the day or arrives in the swim. So the session comes to an end there now. As you can see on screen, plenty of bites and good fun. We all managed to get a few fish and now we're having a quick shandy at the pub before we set off. Had a good day, lads. So all that remains is to wish us all tight lines in your own fishing and we'll catch it all next week. Tight lines.